So how do these mandibular repositioning devices work? Well, they simulate the anaesthetist's hands. Now, if the patient is unconscious in the operating theatre and we want to open the airway, well, one option is to tilt the head back and that should, um, whilst they keep the mouth closed, and that opens the airway. Another alternative, if perhaps we, we want to um, is actually keep that airway open, is to take the thumbs, put them below the ears, and actually on the ascending ramus of the mandible, and you just push it forward. And that is what the anaesthetist will do. But what we're doing is we're making a dental device that actually holds the jaw and simulates the anaesthetist's hands and holds them in that forward position. So with our laser magic laser pointer on, what we have here is a partially blocked airway, an obstructed airway as you can clearly see, and then put the device in the patient's mouth, it brings the lower jaw forward and opens the airway. Bingo, that's exactly what we're after. Uh, the same, same thing, but a, sort of without an MRD we have the apnea, uh, and with the mandibular repositioning device, the pharyngeal area is open. Okay, I think we've laboured the point uh, on how oral appliance therapy works, but you also got to remember that it's not just the body of the, the lower jaw going forward and the tongue, it's, it's through the muscle insertion into the soft palate uh, and increasing tone. We've covered this before, I think.